The secret to success is different from what you think. It's the exact opposite. You've been told that chasing happiness, avoiding pain, and controlling every aspect of your life is the path to greatness. But what if I told you that embracing discomfort, accepting what you can't control, and facing your mortality are the real keys to unlocking your potential? Welcome, fellow seekers of wisdom. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of Stoic philosophy, not to dwell on its history, but to arm ourselves with its timeless power. We're about to explore 12 Stoic secrets that will revolutionize how you approach life's challenges, how you define success, and ultimately, how you become the best version of yourself. These aren't just lofty ideals. These battle-tested principles have guided emperors, prisoners, and everyday heroes through the storms of life. And today, they're going to become your weapons in the arena of life. In the next 40 minutes, you'll learn how to turn obstacles into your greatest allies, why focusing on what you can't control is sabotaging your success, the counterintuitive practice that will make you more resilient than you ever thought possible, and nine other powerful secrets that will transform your approach to life. But let me warn you, this isn't a feel-good positive thinking seminar. This is a call to embrace life in raw, unpredictable glory. It's about forging an unbreakable will, cultivating unwavering peace, and living purposefully in a chaotic world. Are you ready to challenge everything you thought about success and happiness? Are you prepared to embrace a philosophy that demands your best, especially when life is at its worst? Then, let's begin our journey into the heart of Stoic wisdom. Brace yourself. Your life is about to change. Embrace the obstacle. Life isn't about avoiding problems. It's about running headfirst into them. You heard that right? The first Stoic secret to doing your best is to embrace the very things most people try to avoid. Obstacles. Think about it. What's holding you back right now? A difficult boss? A need for more resources? Your self-doubt? Here's the truth. These aren't roadblocks. They're your path forward. When you face an obstacle, you have three choices. One, you can let it stop you. Two, you can try to go around it. Three, or you can smash right through it and come out stronger on the other side. Guess which one the Stoics chose. Every challenge you face is an opportunity to prove your mettle grow and become better than you were yesterday. It's not about what happens to you. It's about how you respond. So how do we put this into practice? First, change your language. That impossible deadline at work. It's now your opportunity to excel under pressure. That difficult conversation you've been avoiding. It's your chance to practice clear communication and emotional control. Second, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Every obstacle contains a lesson. Your job is to find it. Third, take action immediately. The longer you wait, the more significant the obstacle seems. Break it down into small, manageable steps and start tackling them individually. Remember, comfort is the enemy of growth. The next time you face a challenge, ask, why me? Instead of asking, how can I use this? Your obstacles are not in your way. They are the way. Master the dichotomy of control. How much of your life do you control? If you're like most people, you probably think it's a lot. But I'm about to shatter that illusion and set you free in the process. Here's the hard truth. You control far less than you think. But what you do control is far more powerful than you realize. This is the dichotomy of control and mastering it will transform your life. You don't control the economy, other people's actions, or the weather, but you do control your thoughts, your actions, and your responses to everything life throws at you. So why waste energy on things you can't change? Imagine the freedom of letting go of all that's beyond your control. Imagine 
channeling all that energy into what you can influence. That's the power of this stoic secret. Here's how to put it into practice. 1. Identify what's truly in your control. Your thoughts, your actions, your goals, your values. These are yours to command. 2. Recognize what's not in your control. Other people's opinions, external events, outcomes. Let these go. 3. Focus your energy solely on what you can influence. Pour yourself into your efforts rather than the results. But here's the kicker. This isn't about passivity. It's about strategic action. When you focus only on what you control, you become unstoppable. You're no longer at the mercy of external circumstances. You're the master of your domain. Try this. Next time you feel frustrated or anxious, ask yourself, is this within my control? If it's not, let it go. If it is, take action. Remember, true power doesn't come from controlling the world around you. It comes from controlling yourself. Master the dichotomy of control, and you'll find a calm strength that no external force can shake. Harness negative visualization. What's the worst that could happen? Most people avoid this question like the plague, but Stoics, they embrace it, they weaponize it. Welcome to the counterintuitive power of negative visualization. I'm not talking about dwelling on worst case scenarios until you're paralyzed with fear. I'm talking about a strategic mental exercise that will make you more resilient, grateful, and prepared than ever. Here's how it works. Regularly imagine losing the things you value most. Your job, your home, your health, even your loved ones. Sounds harsh, doesn't it? But here's the magic. When you visualize these losses, two powerful things happen. First, you become intensely grateful for what you have right now. Suddenly, that job you complained about becomes a blessing. That partner you took for granted becomes precious. Second, you become mentally prepared for challenges. When you've already imagined the worst, you're ready for anything. But let's be clear, this isn't about pessimism. It's about clear-eyed realism combined with deep appreciation. Here's how to practice. 1. Start small. Imagine losing your phone for a day. How would you adapt? 2. Gradually increase the stakes. Visualize larger setbacks or losses. 3. For each scenario, ask yourself, how would I cope? What resources do I have? 4. Always end by appreciating what you have right now. The key is balance. Do this exercise regularly, but don't let it consume you. The goal is preparation and gratitude, not anxiety. Remember, Stoics aren't pessimists expecting the worst. They're realists ready for anything yet profoundly appreciative of the present. By facing your fears in your mind, you rob them of their power over you. You become unshakable. Forge unbreakable self-discipline. In a world of instant gratification and constant distraction, one skill sets the extraordinary apart from the ordinary. Self-discipline. It's not flashy. It's not exciting. But it's the bedrock of every great achievement in history. And for Stoics, it's non-negotiable. Self-discipline isn't about punishing yourself. It's about freedom, true freedom. The freedom to choose your actions rather than being a slave to your impulses. It's about doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done, whether you feel like it or not. So, how do we forge this unbreakable will? Here's your action plan. One, start with small wins. Choose one habit, maybe waking up 30 minutes earlier or doing 10 push-ups daily. Stick to it religiously. Two, embrace discomfort. Cold showers, fasting, or intense workouts deliberately seek challenging experiences. Three, delay gratification. Before any pleasure, earn it through hard work or self-denial. Four, keep your word, especially to yourself. If you say you'll do something, do it. No excuses. Five, practice mindfulness. Be aware of your impulses without acting on them. This builds the muscle of self-control. Remember, you're forging your will whenever you choose discipline over ease. You're becoming unstoppable. But here's the real secret. 
The harder the choice, the greater the growth. When you're tired, discouraged, and every fiber of your being wants to quit, that's when holding the line matters most. That's when you truly become indomitable. Start small, but dream big. Imagine the person you could become with unwavering self-discipline. That person is within you, waiting to be unleashed. Your comfort zone is your enemy. Your will is your weapon. Forge it daily and watch as you become capable of achievements you never thought possible. Embody the four virtues. In a world obsessed with external success, the Stoics knew a profound truth. True greatness comes from within. Enter the four virtues, wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. These aren't just lofty ideals. They're your blueprint for excellence in every aspect of life. Let's break them down and turn them into action. One, wisdom. It's not about knowing everything. It's about pursuing knowledge relentlessly and applying it judiciously. Action step. Learn something new every day. Then ask yourself, how can I use this to make better decisions? Two, justice. This isn't just about law and order. It's about fairness, integrity, and doing right by others. Action step. Before each decision, ask yourself, is this fair? Am I treating others as I'd want to be treated? Three, courage. Forget Hollywood heroics. True courage is doing what's right, even when it's hard. Action step. Identify one thing you've been avoiding out of fear. Now, face it head on. 4. Temperance. Moderation is your superpower in a world of excess. Action step. Choose one area of your life where you tend to overindulge. Set clear limits and stick to them. These virtues aren't separate. They work in harmony. Wisdom guides your actions. Justice ensures they're fair. Courage gives you the strength to follow through. Temperance keeps you balanced. Imagine facing every situation armed with these four virtues. How would your life change? How would you change? Here's your challenge. For the next week, before every significant decision, pause and consider these four virtues. Let them guide you. Is this the wise choice? Is it just and fair? Does it require courage? Is it balanced and moderate? You'll stumble, you'll fall short. That's okay, the goal isn't perfection, it's progress. Remember, living with virtue is a radical act in a world that often celebrates the wrong things. It's a declaration that you value inner excellence over external validation. By embodying these virtues, you're not just improving yourself, you're elevating everyone around you. You're becoming a beacon of what's possible. Live with impermanence. Everything changes. Everything ends. These aren't just philosophical musings. They're the bedrock of stoic wisdom and your key to unshakable peace. In a world obsessed with permanence, leaving legacies and making marks, the Stoics offer a radical alternative. Embrace impermanence. But don't mistake this for pessimism. This isn't about giving up. It's about liberation. When you genuinely accept that nothing lasts forever, not your possessions, not your status, not even your life, you unlock a profound power, the power to fully engage with the present moment. Imagine living without the fear of loss. Imagine appreciating everything as if it were already gone. Imagine facing change, not with resistance, but with curiosity and adaptability. This is living with impermanence. Here's how to put this into practice. 1. Practice the last time meditation. As you go about your day, ask yourself, what if this were the last time I did this? The last time you hugged a loved one. The last time you saw a sunset. Feel the poignancy. Feel the appreciation. 2. Regularly let go of something. Start small. Maybe a piece of clothing you've been holding on to. Work your way up to bigger things. 
Train your mind to accept loss gracefully. 3. Celebrate endings as much as beginnings. When something ends, a job, a relationship, a phase of life, honor it. Reflect on what it taught you. Be grateful for the experience. 4. Embrace change proactively. Instead of waiting for change to happen, initiate positive changes in your life. This puts you in harmony with the flow of existence. Remember, accepting impermanence doesn't mean you stop caring. It means you care more deeply and authentically and are free from the illusion of forever. Your ability to adapt, let go and flow with change becomes your superpower in a world of constant flux. By living with impermanence, you're not just preparing for loss. You're enriching every moment of your life. You're freeing yourself from the tyranny of attachment and fear. Cultivate mindful presence. Listen up. In a world of constant distraction, your most powerful weapon is your attention. But here's the brutal truth. Most of us are terrible at wielding it. We're living life on autopilot, letting our minds drag us into regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. But the Stoics, they knew better. They understood that true power lies in the present moment. This isn't some new age fluff. This is about mental toughness. It's about showing up fully in your life every single day. Here's how you cultivate a mindful presence like a Stoic. 1. Practice the sunrise meditation. Every morning, before you do anything else, take 60 seconds to focus solely on your breath. Feel each inhale and exhale. This isn't about relaxation, but sharpening your mind for the battles ahead. 2. Use trigger points. Choose three everyday actions, maybe opening a door, turning on a faucet, or sitting down. Every time you do these, Snap yourself into full awareness. Feel the doorknob's texture. Hear the water's sound. Sense your body's weight. These become your anchors to the present. 3. Embrace the 54321 technique. When you feel your mind drifting, name five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. This isn't just grounding. It's training your mind to engage fully with reality. Ask yourself, how much of your life are you missing because you're lost in thought? How many opportunities are slipping by because you're not fully present? Look, I get it. Staying present is challenging. Your mind will wander. You'll get lost in your thoughts. That's okay. The key is to keep bringing yourself back each time you do, you're building mental strength. Remember, the Stoics weren't trying to empty their minds. They were aiming to fill their lives with purpose and awareness. Every moment is an opportunity to practice virtue, make a choice, and become better. So, here's your challenge. For the next 24 hours, commit to catching yourself whenever you're on autopilot. Bring yourself back to the present moment. Feel the aliveness in your body. Engage fully with whatever you're doing, no matter how mundane. This isn't just about peace of mind. It's about power. When you're fully present, you make better decisions. You see opportunities others miss. You become unshakable. The past is gone. The future isn't here yet. Your life is happening right now, in this moment. Are you showing up for it? Cultivate mindful presence. It's not just a stoic secret. It's your key to living a life of purpose, power, and unshakable calm. Pursue lifelong wisdom. Life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. And for the stoics, that creation never stops. Welcome to the pursuit of lifelong wisdom your ticket to constant growth and unshakable strength. Here's the truth. When you think you know everything, you've already lost. The wisest among us are those who realize how little they truly know. So, 
How do we embrace this journey of perpetual learning? Here's your action plan. 1. Read voraciously, but don't just consume. Question everything. Ask yourself, how can I apply this to my life today? 2. Seek out diverse perspectives, especially those that challenge your beliefs. Growth happens at the edge of discomfort. 3. Turn every experience into a lesson. Failed at something? Good. What can you learn from it? 4. Practice daily reflection. Ask yourself at the end of each day, what did I learn today? How have I improved? 5. Teach others. Nothing solidifies knowledge like sharing it. Remember, wisdom isn't about accumulating facts. It's about deepening your understanding of life and yourself. Here's your challenge. Commit to learning one new thing every day for the next week. Then, crucially, find a way to apply it. Imagine the person you'll become if you continue this practice for a year, for a decade, for a lifetime. The pursuit of wisdom isn't just a stoic secret. It's your path to becoming the best version of yourself. Your education isn't over. It's only just beginning. Are you ready to commit to lifelong learning? Own your actions completely. Brace yourself. We're about to shatter one of the most comforting illusions in your life. The idea that your circumstances control your destiny. The Stoics had a radical idea. You are responsible for everything in your life. Everything. Now, I know what you're thinking. But what about things beyond my control? Here's the kicker. While you can't control external events, you always control your response to them. This isn't about blame. It's about power. When you take full ownership of your actions, you become unstoppable. Here's how to put this into practice. 1. Eliminate have to from your vocabulary. Replace it with choose to. You don't have to go to work. You choose to because you value the consequences. 2. Stop blaming others. When something goes wrong, ask yourself, what could I have done differently? 3. Focus on your sphere of influence. What can you change right now? 4. Embrace discomfort. Choosing the hard right over the easy wrong builds character. 5. Take pride in your choices. Own them completely, good or bad. Remember, this isn't about being hard on yourself. It's about recognizing your power to shape your life, your challenge. For the next 24 hours, catch yourself whenever you make an excuse or blame something external. Then, reframe it. How could you take ownership? Imagine living without excuses. Imagine the confidence of knowing that no matter what happens, you can handle it. This isn't just a stoic secret. It's your declaration of independence from victimhood. Are you ready to take full ownership of your life? Practice deep gratitude. In a world obsessed with more, the Stoics found power in appreciation. But we're not talking about superficial thankfulness here. We're diving into deep, life-changing gratitude. Here's the truth. Gratitude isn't just a feel-good exercise. It's a weapon against dissatisfaction, a tool for resilience, and a path to genuine contentment. But how do we cultivate this profound appreciation? Here's your Stoic Gratitude Playbook. 1. Practice negative visualization. Regularly imagine losing what you value most. Then, open your eyes to the reality where you still have it. Feel that? That's deep gratitude. 2. Find the opportunity in adversity. Lost your job? Be grateful for the chance to pursue a new path, facing a challenge. Thank it for making you stronger. 3. Appreciate the ordinary, your beating heart, the air in your lungs, the ground beneath your feet. These miracles happen every moment. 4. Express gratitude daily, not just in words, but in actions. Show appreciation through your deeds. 5. Be grateful for your challenges. They're your greatest teachers. Remember, gratitude isn't about ignoring life's difficulties. It's about finding strength and perspective within them. Here's your challenge. 
for the next week. End each day by writing down three things you're genuinely grateful for. But dig deep. Find gratitude in unexpected places. Imagine approaching every situation, good or bad, with a sense of appreciation. How would that transform your life? This isn't just a stoic secret. It's your key to unlocking a more prosperous, more fulfilling existence. Are you ready to weaponize gratitude in your life? Serve a greater purpose. Listen up. We're about to challenge one of the most pervasive myths of our time, that life is all about you. The Stoics knew better. They understood that true fulfillment comes not from self-obsession, but from serving something greater than yourself. Here's the hard truth. A life lived solely for personal gain is half-lived. You're capable of so much more. So how do we align our lives with a greater purpose? Here's your stoic roadmap. 1. Identify your unique talents. What are you naturally good at? These are clues to your purpose. 2. Find where your skills meet the world's needs. That intersection is your calling. 3. Start small. Serve your family, your community, and your workplace. The purpose isn't always glamorous. 4. Embrace duty. Do what needs to be done, not just what you feel like doing. 5. Think long-term. How will your actions impact future generations? Remember, this isn't about sacrificing your happiness. It's about finding more profound, more lasting fulfillment. Your challenge for the next week, before every major decision, ask yourself, how does this serve a purpose beyond myself? Imagine waking up daily knowing your actions contribute to something bigger than your desires. How would that change your perspective? This isn't just a stoic secret. It's your path to a life of meaning and impact. Embrace Memento Mori. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. Marcus Aurelius. These words aren't meant to depress you. They're meant to wake you up. Welcome to Memento Mori, the stoic practice of remembering your mortality. It's not morbid. It's motivating. Here's the unvarnished truth. You will die. Maybe today, maybe in 50 years. But it's coming. And that knowledge is your greatest ally in living fully. So, how do we use death awareness as a tool for living? Here's your stoic strategy. 1. Start each day by acknowledging it could be your last. How does that change your priorities? 2. Use death as a decision-making tool. Would you still do this if you knew you'd die tomorrow? 3. Regularly visualize your funeral. What would you want people to say about you? Now, live that way. 4. Appreciate the finite nature of everything. Each moment is precious because it will never come again. 5. Use death to cut through trivial concerns. Most of what we worry about doesn't matter in the face of mortality. Remember, this isn't about being gloomy. It's about using death to squeeze every drop of meaning from life. Your challenge for the next week. Ask yourself each morning, if this were my last day, how would I live it? Imagine approaching each day with the urgency and appreciation of knowing it could be your last. How would that transform your life? This isn't just a stoic secret. It's your wake-up call to live with purpose and passion. Are you ready to use your mortality as motivation to live truly? Stoic wisdom to live by. Before we wrap up, let's arm ourselves with some powerful stoic quotes. These aren't just words. They're weapons against life's challenges. Keep these close. 1. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius. Remember, your thoughts are yours to command when life feels out of control. 2. He who fears death will never do anything worthy of a living man. Seneca. Let this fuel you to take bold action and live fully. 3. It's not what happens to you, 
but how you react to it that matters. Epictetus, your response is your superpower. Use it wisely. 4. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. Marcus Aurelius, let this remind you to make every moment count. 5. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Marcus Aurelius. Action beats philosophy. Start living these principles now. Tattoo these on your mind. Let them guide you when the path gets tough. This is the wisdom that has guided great men and women for centuries. Now it's your turn to put it into practice. Final thoughts. Your stoic journey begins now. We've reached the end of our exploration, but this is just the beginning of your journey. The Stoic secrets we've discussed aren't just philosophical ideas. They're practical tools for living a life of purpose, resilience, and true fulfillment. But knowledge without action is useless. So here's what I want you to do right now. 1. Choose one secret that resonated with you the most. 2. Commit to practicing it for the next seven days. 3. At the end of each day, reflect on how it's impacting your life. Remember, transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's the result of small, consistent actions taken day after day. As Epictetus said, don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. Your actions will speak louder than any words. And here's a final thought to carry with you. You have everything you need to face life's challenges. These stoic secrets aren't giving you anything new. They're revealing the strength already within you. So as you leave here today, I challenge you to step into the world with a new perspective. See obstacles as opportunities. Find gratitude in adversity. Live with purpose and courage. The path of a stoic isn't always easy but it's always worthwhile. Are you ready to embrace this timeless wisdom and become the best version of yourself? Your stoic journey starts now. Let's make it count. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of stoic wisdom. Stay strong and resilient and keep pushing forward until next time.